to learn how to savor the little happinesses in our daily life. And you allow the radio inside to continue and then you cannot do anything. Because there is uh, always that mental discourse going on day and night in your head. You think of uh, the past, you invoke the past, you are afraid of the future, and the thinking goes on. And it takes away all space in you. You have no time to live your life. So it's very important to stop the radio inside, the non-stop NST, non-stop thinking. In our consciousness, there are suffering, regret, sorrow, and uh, <clears throat> we have the, the habit of uh, bringing them up again from the depth of our consciousness and chew and eat them again and again and again. That is not healthy, a healthy kind of food. So stopping the mental discourse is very important in the practice. It's funny that um, in Plum Village, <laughs> not only we don't uh, drink alcohol, uh, eat meat, but we advise not to talk and not to think. Uh, because why walking, if we, we talk or think, uh, we allow that radio to continue, and we are victim. We are victim of the past and of the future, of our worries. We are not living our life. In order to be able to live our life, we have to stop that radio inside. Really school anterior. And then, how can you enjoy your steps if you allow the radio to continue? When we touch the, the ground with our uh, foot, we should be able to feel and the feeling can bring insight. And in no time at all, you touch all the wonders of life that are available during the time you touch uh, the ground with your left foot. And you have a feeling, a wonderful feeling of joy, of uh, well-being. So to feel rather than to think is our practice. To feel your body, to be aware of each feelings, to embrace them, and that is our practice. And the healing is possible, and we provide ourselves with the kind of healthy food. We do not chew again and again our sorrow, our fear, our anger, which is not good for our health. But we begin to get the kind of uh, healthy, sane food that we deserve. <coughs>